Hello, and welcome to the Managing Insurance Verification List webinar. The Insurance Verification List is used to quickly identify when insurance benefits and patient eligibility needs to be verified and is useful for offices that verify insurance benefits and patient eligibility prior to appointment. The Insurance Verification List is located within the Appointment Lists window. Click Inch Verify to pull up the Insurance Verification window. From here, you are able to filter the list with the options at the top of the window in the Verification Filters section. First, we have Days Until Scheduled Appointment. This determines how far in the future to look for appointments where insurance needs verified. If we leave it at seven, it will look for appointments within the next seven days. Then, plan benefits haven't been verified in. This determines which insurance plans will show based on the last date verified. Leaving this at 90, which is the default, will only show appointments where the insurance plan attached to the patient haven't been verified within the past 90 days. Lastly, for our date filters, we have days since patient eligibility, which determines which patients will show based on the last patient eligibility verification date. If we leave this at 30, which is the default, it will only show appointments where the patient attached hasn't had their eligibility verified within the past 30 days. These three fields can be set to different default numbers within the insurance verification setup window, which we will discuss at the end of the webinar. We are also able to filter appointments by carrier attached, region, clinic if clinics are enabled, user assigned to the verification, and verification status. Once you've set all filters, click the refresh button to update the list. Now we get into the actual list themselves. There are two lists, the verification list and the assigned verification list. Within the verification list, there are two tabs, one for current appointments as determined by the filters above, and one for past due. Past due includes any appointments that meet the filters above but have already been completed without benefits being verified. You are able to set how many days in the past this list looks within the insurance verification window setup, which we will cover at the end of the webinar. The default for this is one day, so generally we'll only be looking for appointments completed the previous day. Within the list, you can see type of verification needed, clinic if clinics are enabled, patient name, appointment date and time, carrier, when the insurance was last verified, the insurance verification status, when that status was changed, and who the verification is assigned to. After highlighting an appointment, you can use the buttons at the bottom to mark patient eligibility verified, mark insurance benefits verified, and change the verification status. If you do change the verification status, you're able to add a note. We'll say that we tried calling and got a voicemail. And then whenever we highlight that appointment, that status note will show in the bottom right-hand corner. Right-clicking on an appointment gives us some more options. We can go to patient, which will select the patient and bring you to the family module. Go to patient plan, which will pull up the edit insurance plan window for that patient's insurance plan. Assign a user for the verification. Set the verification status, which works exactly the same as the verify status dropdown. And then you can mark patient eligibility as verified, insurance benefits as verified, or both. You're also able to copy the cell text from where you right clicked. Clicking on the assign verification tab will show all verifications not assigned. If you want to see all verifications for a specific user or just all verifications across the board, you can change this within the For User dropdown. 
once you've assigned a user, their name will show within the dropdown. You can assign the user through right-clicking. In this list, you're also able to set the verification status. You can also assign by selecting, then clicking the ellipses next to to user and selecting the user from that list. You're also able to add notes from this screen as well. And those notes will show within the verification list when that appointment is assigned. The office has a few options in regards to customizing the entrance verification list. First, you can change the default settings for the date filters in Setup, Appointments, Entrance Verification. The numbers entered here will be automatically entered when going into the entrance verification list. And the normal defaults are 7, 90, 30, and 1. You're also able to change a few other settings from here. Entrance verification list defaults to the current user. If checked, this will default the for user filter to the user that is currently logged in. You can check exclude patients with entrance plans marked as do not verify if you do not want to see appointments that have plans marked with do not verify on the list. You can also exclude patient clones from the list. Lastly, checking always re-verify service year plans will relist verifications to remind staff to re-verify benefits when a plan's benefit renewal date is after the last verified date. The other area that can be customized is creating additional verification statuses. This can be done in Setup, Definitions, Insurance Verification Status. You can use the Add button to add additional statuses, the Hide button to hide unwanted statuses, and then the Up and Down arrow as well as the Alphabetize button to reorder the statuses. That wraps up the Managing Insurance Verification List webinar. Thank you for joining us today. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to call our support line for assistance.